This first scene of Lizelle almost discovering Prince Caspian was intended to increase the tension a little bit, but we found instead that it was better just to get into the action and the pace of the beginning of the film. Sorts of custom. In the Prince Caspian book, C.S. Lewis mentions an apple orchard that the children planted near their castle gates that has grown and overgrown the castle over time. The scene was originally intended to help establish the idea of how much time had passed. Lucy? Hmm. Does anyone still have their sandwiches? Well, I left mine in my bag, and I left my bag in the train station, and then I left the train station in England. The original intention of this scene was to show that Mraz was doing what he was doing to secure his child's future and really show another dimension to Mraz's character, which I ultimately felt came through in his performance without the need for the scene. Showing your son the kingdom? <laughs> Just get him somewhere. But you're right. He should see it. If it's to rule it one day. What is Caspian? I thought he would be here. soon enough. I'd originally felt in the scripting phase that I needed to up the stakes in the middle of the film and really have the children understand what was happening to Narnia. This scene was to establish that trees were being chopped down and Narnians were being killed. Ultimately I felt that came through without the need for the scene. The original intention for this scene was just to provide a little bit more backstory into Aslan's how. Ultimately I found it wasn't really needed and it was better just to get in there and discover it through the character's eyes. It's been abandoned for hundreds of years. Only the mice know of its existence. It may not be what you are used to, but it is defensible. Because we decided to have a sense of an attraction between Caspian and Susan, we had a number of scenes throughout that was just helping to build that relationship. Ultimately I felt that this one was going a little too far and actually shot two options for this so I could have the Telmarine soldier discovered in a different way.
Nope. Not a scratch. It's all right. Rome wasn't built in a day. How long did it take? What's Rome? It's it's just a phrase. Hey! Hey! Nice shot. Which one of you? Good afternoon, Your Majesty. I thought you could use some help. Things are well in hand, thank you. I didn't mean to suggest otherwise. I suppose you could do better. Pick a target. Do you see that pine cone? No problem. Uh, that one. Sure, that's not an acorn. Too far for you. Not bad. Well, I was trained by the finest in the town Marine Army. Well, that's the best they've got. We might stand a chance after all. This is a brief scene that shows the Narnians leaving for the castle raid and was really meant to show how Lucy was very disappointed in Peter. I felt ultimately that came through in the last sequence and felt it was better just to get on with the action of the raid. This is a brief moment during the castle raid which was intended to establish a little bit more jeopardy and also help build the relationship between Trumpkin and the kids. I found ultimately that there was enough jeopardy in the raid and the relationship seemed to play without the need for the scene. It was better just to get on with the action. This was just a brief comedic moment during the castle raid, which also was to help explain why the Pevensies got to Miraz's room after Caspian. At the end of the day, I found the audience never asked that question, and it really wasn't the time for a comedic beat. One of my favourite moments in the book was when Trumpkin catches Bulgy Bear about to suck his paw and in fact I cast David Williams as Bulgy Bear because it's a lovely comedic moment. Ultimately I found the pace of the movie at this point didn't really allow for a break like this and we really felt like we needed to get to the duel between Peter and Mraz. This is not what I meant. This is my fight. I think we've already tried that. Look. If there's ever going to be peace with the Telmarines, you have to be the one who brings it. How can I if you won't let me? Not like this. If I don't make it, Narnia's future's in your hands. And what about your own future? I was thinking about a career in medicine. Highness, 
Yes. I I'm a bear, I am. And a fine one, I'm sure. B begging your pardon, but tradition holds that you pick your marshals of the lists. He's right. You need to choose your seconds. Uh, don't let him. You just fall asleep and suck his paws. Sire, my life is forever at your command, but I had thought perhaps I might be sent for this challenge. <laughs> As you know, my good Reaper Chief, many humans are afraid of mice. And it really wouldn't be fair for Miraz to have anything in sight that could further dilute his courage. Of course. Your Majesty is the mirror of honor. That is exactly what I was thinking. Caspian, tell Glenstorm I want him, Ed, and... Please, your majesty. It is your right, and my honor. But you must remember not to suck your paws. Oh, he's doing it right now. <clears throat> are you sure you're ready for this? Are you sure that you are? 